Hi hey everyone, this is Steve at OpenBomb. In today's video, we're going to go from the very beginning of, ins of installing and using the uh, OpenBomb add-in for SolidWorks. So let's get started. The process is to uh, first register an account, SolidWorks. So we're going to go through the process. Provide my, provide my email and name. We're going to choose SolidWorks as our CAD system. And Provide a smart password. Okay. Once we do that, we're going to be taken to the dashboard. The Open Bomb dashboard, where we want to go right to the integrations button. So the integrations button has all the various CAD integrations. We're going to be looking for SolidWorks, and we want this middle one right here. Download the SolidWorks plugin. You can skip the other two for now. Save that to your save that to your desktop and go ahead and install that MSI. I'm going to let you go ahead and complete that installation. And once you've done that, start SolidWorks and let's go right to the add-ins area and make make sure that the OpenBomb extractor for SolidWorks is both <clears throat> um, active and set to startup. So we'll go ahead and do that. Open your favorite assembly. And you'll see the open bomb um, UI up here. We want to go to settings and sign in with the with the account that we just created. Provide your password. Now you may be uh, greeted with a message here that says you need to have a professional level subscription or above. Um, so if, if that's the case, you can click on this link here and jump over to our pricing page where you can purchase a professional level subscription and once you've done that you'll be able to return here and key in that uh, again key in your credentials and you should be ready to go next thing is uh, click the create update bill material button and the open bomb added will build uh, a bill material with the structure and quantity that you have in SolidWorks your SolidWorks assembly you might be asked on your first time, uh, you know, your first time, your first usage, to go ahead and provide another to provide your credentials and um, sign in one more time. We will cache those for the future. So once you do that, you'll be taken to the bill of material that you just created. We're about two minutes, three minutes in here. So in three minutes, we've installed, configured, and built our first bill of material, multi-level bill of material. Uh, my, my dad out of SolidWorks. So I hope you found this useful. More, there's more information on in our help. And of course, we always like to hear from you at support at OpenBob.